is the uh, jailhouse and the police station in the town where I live. And you can see there's people coming out. It's about 5 p.m. They're just closing down. They're not closing down, but all the office workers are going home. Saw a couple badges. They really could care less it's about dumpster diving. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, it's actually law enforcement that made and keeps dumpster diving illegal. Not only is it not illegal, they're the ones that want it to be legal. They catch a lot of criminals doing that kind of stuff. What I'm doing right now, you can catch a lot of criminals digging in the garbage, I can tell you that. But you know, they might come and say, you know, what are you doing and check you out, you know. But any, 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 any person in public is liable to do that, you know. Even just regular citizens, that's not even their job to do that kind of stuff. You know, I, and when someone tells you to leave, you just be polite and you leave. And it's just end the story. There's really nothing anyone can do as far, you know, there's really no way you can get in trouble doing it. Unless you become a jerk. And Yahtzee! <laughs> and you know, get disorderly and if you don't leave, and of course that's trespassing or loitering, you know. There's all kinds of all kinds of side things. If you really wanna, you know, get in trouble, you can definitely get in trouble doing it. But the golden rule is just someone asks you or tells you to leave, always be polite. Always be polite and leave. <laughs> and that pretty much will take care of any problem you ever have. You can definitely get trespassing tickets, loitering tickets. You can definitely get arrested for disorderly conduct. And if that's what you want to do, you know. If you just be polite and leave, that could care less. I suppose a lot of it has to do with, you know, I'm on a little bicycle, and I used to do it on a motorcycle, so it's not a, it's not so intrusive if I pulled into there in a big old truck or a car, you know, and opened my doors and slammed my doors and, you know, got, got everyone's attention, you know. A, a bicycle or a motorcycle is just so much less of a nuisance or intrusive, but, uh, As long as you're not, you know, as long as you don't have some dope in your pocket or you're committing identity theft with personal information, you know, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, that's, there's just really no problem. Look at this right here. I wonder if that's scrap. Look at that monster. I bet that thing weighs a ton. Look at that. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm pretty sure this is the auction house. There could be a lot of good stuff in this here. It's a brick and mortar auction house. And they sell a lot of stuff out. There's a bunch of books down there I'm gonna have to have a look at. Uh, they usually know what they're doing when it comes to most of the stuff especially books but they make mistakes every now and then i've got quite a few of uh, like walt disney glasses uh, glassware drinking glasses collectible stuff out of here 
and they do make mistakes from time to time. But like all these books are just gonna be mass produced stuff. This is all the stuff you see on Amazon. Listed for a penny, you know. We'll donate that one to the library though. Actually, I'm on my way to the library to donate some books right now. I got some books in my... Those are just cheap books though. But this thing here, oh, it's not, that's not nearly as heavy as I thought. That's probably for like a baseball field or something. That's about 200, oh, it's got water in it. It's about 200 pounds with water in it. <laughs> Hear that sloshing? A lot of water in there. <laughs> I could almost drag that home, but it's not worth it. Scrapyard might not even take it with that much water in there. But, uh... My next stop is on the way to the library. I had those two textbooks there. That I was going to donate, so... Let's see if there's some nice books in here. Since I'm on my way there, what the heck, you know? So yeah, I mean, a lot of things gotta go. I could get probably 10 times more views if I put in, you know, big red letters on my thumbnail and title, busted by the cops, dumpster diving, you know, but that just simply doesn't happen. That's just, <laughs> you know, you can get busted by the cops being a jerk or wouldn't leave and got trespassing you know i'll take some of these books nice and clean i might run into a textbook let's see uh shoot you know what actually that right there's got a disc in the back i might have to hold on to that one this one is basically in new condition i listed it on amazon as like new, that disc, that floppy disc is factory sealed, and that makes it more valuable. Makes the book more valuable for sure. But I mean, it's real old. But these are listed for well over $100 in new condition on Amazon. So I just put mine on there at 25 bucks. See if I can get rid of it. It's <laughs> pretty neat books. Usually what I find in here are just like old readers digests and stuff. Uh, it's got a $70 price tag on it. This one is basically nothing. It's on eBay for $10 free shipping. Amazon for like 20 bucks. And I don't know. It's probably basically worthless. I'll probably just give that to the library. See what they want to do with it. I'm going to take a flyer on some of these. Oh. oh, shoot. We're running into old software and stuff now. It's got an $80 sticker on it. Looks to be all there, too. This is old. It's for Windows 98. And I could probably get a couple dollars out of it if I really, really wanted to. But I'll probably just donate it somewhere, get rid of it. Take the stuff home and have a look. Uh, throw that one away. Throw that one away. It's uh, kind of neat. Kind of old. See, when you donate this kind of stuff to the library, they got a little room where they sell it. You know, they sell these kind of books for like 50 cents, you know. The library's always a good place to donate to. You don't 
you don't really realize what a good thing uh, public libraries are for the surrounding communities. Well, you might, but I didn't really realize. Yeah. In the winter time, it's shelter for people. In the summertime, it's shelter for people. You know, go in there and read books. Uh, Sterling, China. Thanks, what this is. I have to have that. Take that home. See, that's the kind of stuff that make mistakes on here. See, it's been through an auction and nobody wanted it. But sometimes I find stuff in here that never got stickers. I think it maybe it never went, never even went to auction because they just didn't realize what it was. They just thought it was just cheap garbage, you know. Well, this box is killing me. I'm all right with it, but I don't blocking out the light and you probably can't see what I'm doing. It just looks like a bunch of rubbish. So donate that to the library. CDs and DVDs. All kinds of stuff in here. There's another one of those dudes. Hmm. It's got some Asian writing on it. I think that's Japanese if I'm not mistaken. It's got an eggplant. It's got two eggplants. I think that's what that is. Japanese sticker on it. Oh, shoot, I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, you know what? Those might not be ashtrays. I don't think those are ashtrays. I'm gonna take those. I think that's some kind of Japanese uh, food, some kind of dish, like a little like a little seasoning holders and like for paste paste seasonings and that type of stuff. I think I figured that one out. Maybe. Another one. Oh, it looks like chili peppers or something. This stuff is actually Japanese in origin. More of those oh, horse head. falling down on me. Uh, and I know in my DEA video I got saw a lot of comments about me grunting and groaning. I mean look at look at this. You know that 
scene from Star Wars, the original Star Wars. Or they're in the trash compactor. That's, <laughs> that's basically the situation I'm in right now. It's just the walls aren't closing in on me. school answering machine have that I ain't gonna mess with it I'll take it for scrap metal <clears throat> that's a neat little deal most likely it's not worth nothing because no one bought it at auction, but you know, when stuff's not, yeah, it's probably not worth much. Those are actually listed on eBay from 16 to $40, including shipping. I definitely sat on the curb somewhere. Been cut. That's a sign of competition right there. Throw away tons of these cups and stuff. I think that's why they make a mistake on collectible, like Walt Disney stuff. Because they just start tossing it and don't realize what they're doing. See, like, there's not going to be any stickers on this kind of stuff. It's just stuff they just tossed right away. cut cord be on some sort of competition I'm gonna take that throw that in my tin pile they're not thorough competition though I can tell you that much unless that stuff was thrown in there afterwards I suppose This is garbage, it would appear. This won't last too long. Someone will come and get it. Maybe. Maybe not with that water in there. Take that back, I suppose. I don't think it's usable. It's too dented. Oh, dang it. Mm. All right, next stop, library. Look at that old car right there. Look at that thing. Hey, that's pretty nice on the inside. 
dashboard and steering wheels pretty close to immaculate really i wasn't expecting to see that the inside of that car is in extremely nice condition huh what is it clipper clipper I've never even heard of that car before. Look at that. Huh. Anybody wants this car? It's at a business called Ken's Auctions. Anybody wants to buy that? You can probably give them a call. Clipper. I've never even heard of that before. It's got like a little Mariner's ship vessel steering wheel type deal with a compass in the middle. Interesting. Okay, enough of that. See you at the library. Make sure I don't throw in something I want to check out. Make sure we get people's stuff out of there. <laughs> You know, a library might not want some of these books, but uh, I might actually keep that one for myself. What do you think? Complete Guide to Bicycle Maintenance and Repair. You know what? It's not very often I keep books for myself, but I think that one's going to have to go in my desk drawer and sit there for seven or eight years without me opening it. <laughs> That's the one I want to check out on Amazon. These are all nice books. Look at that. I mean, they're basically in new condition. But anyways, if the library happens to not want any of these, they can just throw them in uh, the recycling truck and they'll shred them and they'll get recycled. So it's a benefit, you know, Worst case scenario, there's still benefit to it, you know what I mean? And this is part of the reason why I came this direction to begin with. Those are two, those two textbooks from my uh, day six jackpot video, my seven day mini series. And I think. Uh, Throw that in there. Make sure there's not anything weird behind it. You know, so they might sell all those books for a couple bucks, you know. Run that through Amazon. That's probably nothing. I can just bring it up here later and donate it. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. 